Thank God it's Friday. Welcome to Celebrity Friday on Your View. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have my lovely co host here. Hi, ladies. Hello, Mariah. How are you guys doing, Jimmy? What's up? And we have dangling things this morning. <laughs> so I have to so shake has to, She has to be very conscious. My earrings seem to make a lot of noise, and I don't want that to interfere. And it goes so well with your clothes. Yeah, so I'm going to keep it on <laughs> and try not to disturb everybody. So how are you guys doing? Very good. We thank God it's Friday. First Friday of the year. What does that Where mean? are you going to? Reading camp. Oh, yes, that's true. My, oh. my family members, that's true. We are doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing it. Today's our first. Uh, that's so true. Ah, that, I'm sure my guy is going. I'm not, I can't make it. We my ki my kids are not feeling yeah. too well, so I can't make it. This, yeah. my, my husband is definitely going to be there. So, what's up? So Anything? We just thank God that there is life and there is hope and everything is good. So, I wasn't talking like yesterday. I spent the entire day chilling. Like, I was. Um, cleaning the house, feeling very homey, motherly. It was just I slept till about past nine. It really happens, you know. So I, I, I really feel like in Jiboke's word, well rested. <laughs> That's nice. That's good. <laughs> so, uh, who are you doing? <clears throat> this morning I decided to wash my car. By like yourself. I've never done that before. By yeah. yourself. Yeah. Neither yeah. have I. Part of what I do, because uh, growing up, we used to wash my father's car. So every time I feel like I want to exercise in the morning, you know, I just go and I. So I wash you my climb car. on top of the roof? No, I had help from my husband. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you didn't finish saying the story. I just knew there was a caveat. No, no if, 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 if he wasn't around, yes, I would climb. But today, this is around and he's taller than me. So he helped me wash the top of the car. Um, but. Um, um, love the earrings. Thank you, Mariah. The thing is, uh, I just want to encourage a lot of people. Sometimes you'd have something that is like a passion for you, that is burning a vision in your heart. And it's very easy that some people will not buy that vision. Mm -hmm. So it's important you stay strong and believe in what you, know, you have on your inside. And hopefully the whole world will see it when it eventually blossoms. That's yeah. great. Okay, so everybody got the memo today. Well, we all have a touch of orange. orange. Yeah. That's good. No matter how small. Thanks to my mom. Mommy, I'm oh. rocking the dress finally. Really I'll pretty. I <coughs> yeah. wear beyond ones. Uh, and she wears it back. <laughs> <laughs> she, um, she, I don't know why she does that thing. She be like, oh, yeah, well, more, more is not right. <laughs> I don't get it. I have to say something. Mm. Nothing beats coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for something really, really right. serious. I'm taking tea all this well. It's crap. This is the deal. Ah, oh, you, you, you are the who created coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I've been writing a lot of things to husbands and men lately. This yes. Year, and I've been getting a lot of feedback on online. I'm loving and it. Honestly, listen, I'm not writing to my husband because like, are you talking about that? I'm not. I just feel as though, yes, yeah, something, a few slighty, yes, but. The idea is that I think we need to start talking to men mm -hmm. because there are lots of people talking to women. There's so many write-ups on women. What should women? Eh, can you be some, yeah, be yeah, submissive. Yeah, cha -cha 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 -cha. yeah, can you We know. Thank mm -hmm. you. We now want to explain some things to some husbands and how they, how we, how we think, how we hope they can act sometimes. So, um, well, I'm watch, out, it. watch out for stuff on Facebook. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> and yeah. it's your goal for this year. You're already yes, on it. Yes, talking well to, done. talking to our men. Yes. Well done. Let's take a quick break, ladies. It's Friday. We have hmm, an amazing, the boring and uh, Ua's word, <laughs> woman in uh, as our celebrity guest. But that she will come. We'll bring her much ready. later. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll look at the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're starting with the punch. <clears throat> Why police raided patients Jonathan's Abuja house? Picture here of another Chibok girl. Troops rediscovered Chibok school girl, baby among Boko Haram suspects. Mm -hmm. Airlines oppose closure of Abuja airport. Nigerians pay hospital bill. Mother of newborn twins reappears. Oshu magistrates Threatened strike as CP fails to arrest Uluwu. Lagos Assembly okays death penalty for kidnappers. Mm. Government officials probe Malami meet Buhari today. Algeria's Marez is 2016 African Footballer of the Year. Passengers beat Arik manager over delayed flight. Mm. And cooking gas prices to rise to 4,500 naira. We'll talk about the Chibok girl. Let's, talk about, let's start with the Chibok girl story okay, because it's pretty so hot. 
Um, I'm happy, most excitedly for obviously Queen Silly, because over and over again, people felt that she had politicized this cry, this um, cry out of bring back our girls. They felt that she was using it to get platform to become a politician or receive an appointment. And she was just saying that I'm a mother. I know what this would feel like if I don't have my daughter. And over and over again, we're seeing people come back home. This girl um, was rescued. She was found when they finished taking over Sabisa Forest again. The expression you know, on her face is just... With a, with a child. And it's almost as if a lot of them already have a child. And she looks like she's lost. You know, like she, she, he, she, he, she had that look in her the, face, and it it's say. terrible. And Murayo, as much as we're happy that they are coming back, we need to put in a very, very concrete structure to psychologically bring them back into the society. I, I hope wonder, we already have that. I hope, I'm sure we already have that, but I yeah. hope we like to see the results yes. of the, the first 25 that were released. You know, ah. so. Because the, um, um, ISIS conscientized people without even meeting them. So there are things that these people know psychologically okay. that gets into their hearts. I want to speak another story oh. in uh, The story in, of in the girl, of the, the twins. The twins okay. that were at um, the Ademola family were happy for them. Um, they've gotten the money. It was a 300,000 naira bill. <laughs> No, but she, um, and they she, had a 150,000 hour balance. They actually paid 150. Mm. So every, everybody got involved. Ashafa got involved. Senator Ashafa. No, but they said the money that was used was to pay paid. was brought from an NGO that, want, that wants to remain anonymous. anonymous. But um, Senator Ashafa gave them 100,000 naira. Gave the Someone baby. else also gave 50,000 the, 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 uh, the governor's wife also what showed is, interest. Mm. So people are actually made promises to the family. So. But Mariah, that's not the solution to this problem. The True. issue is we need to make insurance healthcare, available to healthcare. everybody. God bless healthcare, you. quality healthcare available to everybody. Because this is just one case. There are many like this i have hundreds one on of my, thousands that i are have like one this. under my purview also so do i start to run to uh, senator yes, ashafa yes. or to the governor's wife there are of... many cases yeah. you know so health care and i think we need to discuss it how do we make <coughs> sure that if anything happens to any nigerian you don't die an unnecessary death yeah because you don't get health care mm -hmm. all right moving on to the nation lagos assembly okay is death for kidnappers mm. buhari orders action against southern kaduna violence Chibok girl, school girl found with six-month-old baby. We talked about that. Private investors for Leki, Ikurudu, Shagamu Road, and others. Police, Ibadan murder, proof tampered with. Lagos Assembly. Let's I talk have about that story. Yeah. Um, so true. yesterday, the Lagos State House of Assembly um, passed the bill on kidnappers. Now, there are different categories of penalty. If your kidnappee dies within your, <laughs> within your <Kidnapped>. custody, <laughs> then the death penalty would come up. Would come up. If the, um, just for kidnapping, you get life sentence. Exactly. And then there are other degrees of punishment. For instance, the person who willingly and knowingly mm. allows his or her house to be used as a den for kidnappers is also going to get right. some punishment. Yeah. Um, I think that we need to shout this out. So that the kidnappers out there will not say that we do not know <coughs> that there is a death penalty. You. I'm very I'm waiting for the governor's uh, assent. Yes, the governor needs to assent this because you know when Benin, I think it was Benin, Edo State, Edo yeah. State, yeah. Edo State were the first to to a lot of people migrated outside, outside of, Edo. of Edo State. So if we make it across the states, all the uh, across the nation, maybe they will go outside state, the country. Yes, because it, it has become um, it has become something that is thriving. Look, yes, yeah, very look, thriving. Look, 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 That's the thing. Very it's very lucrative <laughs> business. Somebody just has a uh, this thing is broke and they decide, okay, let me go and kidnap somebody yeah, and they make money. In, uh, um, I read somewhere that the wife actually ganged up with kidnappers to kidnap her own, her own child so that the husband will give her five million naira because the other didn't buy her all right her. moving yeah, on so to we vanguard to this <clears throat> army recovers another chipbuck girl with child hmm. worry orders Nemo to assess situation in southern kaduna presidency insulting niger delta says pandef we ripped our victim got two million naira ransom says kidnap suspect investors doing. lose 227 billion naira on stock market in three days all right, who has um this kidnap? Did anybody read that? Which one? The, the raping of the victim. I, I was going to read that. But yeah, but you read uh, the Pan Death story. Presidency yeah. insulting Niger Delta. Yeah, so the, <laughs> the the headline is a little different from the story. The Pan how do you define Pan Def again? The Niger Delta um leaders. Mm. Pan Def is a coalition. an association, coalition of all the, of the all the Niger Delta um community leaders led by um, Edwin Clark, mm. was saying that the president saying that they, they do not have credible leaders in the Niger Delta is an insult on them, that that is not true. That's what that's saying the Southern Cardinal, uh, the presidency has asked um, the IG to actually um, 
sent extra reinforcement to to to, to to maintain stability in that in that region, but I guess okay there's, there's, that? but I, I'm not okay with that. Actually, I feel that I'm a I even need a bit of accountability. Let us know how many lives were lost because we've been seeing a lot of pictures. I the follow this. This, is, I mean, the this is just one case. Um, what's it called? When there's when but there's a riot, eight hundred eight hundred people died. Possibly yes. that's what Kani is saying. That's so we need the government not just to say, "Oh, I've sent reinforcement." This is how much indeed. Right, I'm trying to tell you that it is not peculiar to this Southern Kaduna crisis yes. alone. Mm. When it comes to statistics of human lives, for any instance, we do always, not get it we right. Get the right. And number. until we start getting it right, then we know that we are taking each life seriously. Well said. Okay, yeah. moving on. I think to the army should be involved. Though. We use them for politics for elections, so we might as well use them to save lives. But we still need somebody telling us. Properly, making us understand, empathizing with the people the on this situation. Mm -hmm. Say something that let us know that okay, you are you are feeling what we're feeling concerning the killings in Southern Kenya, especially because Khan is saying so much on this matter, and nobody's really what saying. What I expect is maybe the president or the vice president you make a broadcast, address it. We lost fifty lives or hundred or eight hundred. Mm -hmm. um, this is what the army is Good doing. Idea. Acknowledge, you know, just That's acknowledge that yes, people have happened. lost their lives. Moving on to Daily Sun, rescued with baby. <clears throat> hmm. Talk about that already. Our jealous book exposes IBB, how military, um, how ex-military president tried to lure me into supporting June 12 annulment, reveals Oba. Uh, disputed Kogi seat, Alpha notifies Senate of Sustizing seat. Kalu post ex-political appointees today. Fire wrecks havoc in Lagos and Newi Undo markets. No new polio cases in Nigeria, federal government insists. An Abuja runway closure, runway closure, foreign airlines reject Kaduna Airport. Who read that story? Why are they rejecting it? It's not oh, the standard I, I, I didn't, I didn't, um, ah. Even the Abuja that they are using, Man, I was wondering how... I didn't read that story, so I'm not uh, really sure Kaduna why they're rejecting. Have, they, they've been work going on, and I think it's almost it's innovated. Know, done. So what are we saying? Well, I, I didn't read the article, so we don't know exactly what... what, what I'll go and read it, too. We'll, All right. we need to talk about <coughs> the aviation sector, actually. Mm, moving on, break to our final paper is this day. Green shoots start to sprout as external reserves hit $26.1 billion. Finally, Buhari condoles with victims of Southern Kaduna violence, mm. orders army police to end crisis, or Shimbajo, Nigeria can't be Islamatized. Right. Um, almost a thousand days after another Chibok girl rescued, President welcomes recovery. Total to resume operations today after shutdown by oil workers. Okay, I guess that's all we can take on front page review. When we return, our hot topic today, we ask, should young men get married at a young age? Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. Recently, a Twitter user generated serious debate, urging young men to get married at 22, even if all they have is just a little. According to him, don't make, a, don't make our mistakes. Marry now with the little you have, grow with your kids, and succeed with your wife. I regretted not marrying early enough, despite meeting my soulmate when I was 22. Now, what are your thoughts on this? We thought it was an interesting conversation. So we thought, let's hear your thoughts on it. You can call us on 070-8066-8014. You can tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweet. So, do you agree that I young men should actually get married on time? I was going to knock him on the head virtually until he said um, he met his soulmate at 22, which he makes perfect sense in that whatever age you meet your soulmate to is not money. Ah, no, that's not true. Because money actually has a role. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you quickly went back. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but talk about no, this. but if you yeah. meet your soulmate early <clears throat> and... But how do you know he's a soulmate? It. Nobody, they don't write soulmates Nobody on their heads. Nobody saying that he met his soulmate yeah, at because 22. He has lived after X amount of years. Okay, so he now he knows. Sense. Because at 22, you're not 100% sure he's your soulmate. True? So it's after 10, 15 years, like, okay, ah, this is my Dial. soulmate. How do you know? Hey, that's what I'm saying. It's not written in their heads. It's, it's there, time no is what makes him soulmate. Life is always about sacrifice, um, yes. friendship, and soulmate all that. So soulmate, quote unquote, quote, yeah. Soulmate is um, what you make of your soulmate. Yeah, yeah. Of your partner. Yeah. Um, I believe in young, early marriage. I've, all, I've said that over and over here that 
um, marry early. There's really, what are you waiting for? But when we ask men that marry in their, marry in their 30s, late 30s, towards 40, that what were they doing from their early 20s to that period? It was basically hustle and groove. A whole lot of groove. Sampling out, sampling out different women and trying to make up their no, mind. Sampling though. Yes, a lot of men, it's that's the thing. We try A, we try B, we try C, we try D. Um, my opinion is that getting married early screws your head on right because you face a major responsibility. I don't think 22 is uh, it's, um, it's appropriate age. I think that you need to be mature. The person I was in love with at 22, if I was <coughs> married to the person right now, I'm sure de I'm definitely not going to be happy about it because the person I am at, at 22 is different from the person um, I am now. Exactly. And so that difference must be accommodated. However, mm. being conscious of responsibility eh, and the fact that most men wait until they have money is the main problem. They are waiting until they have all their roles. Maybe we in shouldn't a, look at it as money. It's Maybe money. We look at, hang That's there. what the, yeah, the problem is, what they say. They say what well, they want money. Want to money. Okay, yeah, but maybe it shouldn't be money. It's, you, it's more of finding yourself. Because the truth is that, it, it, me, I'm always concerned about women marrying early. I have an issue with young ladies getting married at the age of 22 because I personally believe that there's a lot more to life than getting married. You have to do some things. It would be nice for you to get married if you find somebody you're soulmate. But you see, how do you really know your soulmate until you spend time with that person? So a young man, for example, I feel you have no business with, 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 the, sign, with the institution of marriage until you are able to have that, that yeah, you've gotten that responsibility to take care of a family. Mm -hmm. At 22, you, ask, you, you probably don't have a job. And if yeah, you have a job, job, you need to even save. Because where is your child? Where is your wife going to live in? Is it going to be, is that daddy is going to give us money? How are, we going to, how, are you, how are you going to live? The baby will come. How did our how? fathers and grandfathers do it? They, they didn't wait they didn't wait they didn't in touch No, no, no. Once you graduate, no. They do not need once, cars. They were riding they, bicycles. Once they finish modern, uh, the modern school, yeah. <laughs> they get a job as a teacher in primary school. Uh, they get they a small flat. Bicycle. They get a small flat. They get married. They grow with their child, their, their wives. They, 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 uh, they get more education. Things are different now. We, Things we are, are superficial changed. to the point we feel that I know someone that is in his 40s working well, he's waiting until everything is perfect. And I know someone else that at 29, 28, my neighbor, 20, 28, moved off. At, at 28, he already had a three bedroom flat. Okay, let me come to had one. a relationship and was waiting. And I was wondering, what were you waiting for? You're 28, you're working well, working with an, um, a multinational company, was doing and well. That one has no business waiting. That one so, is so ready. That is the but 22 thing. is way too young. I agree That's with you kid. on that. I totally agree with you on that. Be, being way too young. Let me come Maturity to you. is important. It's about the mind. I don't think 22 is young. All of you are just assuming because um, everybody have their different um, time of maturity. Some people mature as early as 10. They are ready for any responsibility that you bring Seriously? to them. It depends <laughs> on what life. No, she just exaggerates. No, I'm <laughs> saying. Huh? It depends on what <laughs> life throws at you. Yeah. I know how early I got matured okay. in terms of my thinking and the way I conduct myself. Mm. So you cannot, you cannot say that 22 is early. Mm. It might be early for some people. When somebody has been through life, some things mm. will not be, you know, will not be a big deal. Mm. But the problem I have with men marrying too <sighs> late Right now, we have, I was just listening to um, IK and um, Don Jazzy, they, they were doing an interview, and Don Jazzy will be 20, um, 35 this year, and he was saying that, you know, it's really difficult finding, um, what's it called, right, a, right a right partner stage. right now. What we have today in marriages are people that are going into marriage for certain Calculation. things. So they're already calculating that, <coughs> okay, oh. If I get into this marriage, this is what I... It's like a, a contract. It's no longer, you know, I, I'm willing to go through the process of for better, you know, for worse. They, they, we don't have all those things now. Everybody's waiting for that perfect person. If you stay too long as a man <laughs> and you're trying to get married at an older age, it's going to be more difficult coping with another human being. But when you're you grow to together, your because your, your ways are really set, and it's the same thing for a woman. Mm. Your ways are too set. So by the time somebody comes into your life and the person is telling you, uh -uh, and you're wondering, like, I've been doing this, you were not All in my the life. picture. So okay. I think okay. um, young marriages <coughs> should be encouraged. I agree. Because I, I, there's always room for improvement in those kind of marriages. Okay. I hear and you. And you can actually bend things. I agree with you to an extent. I don't, I, I, I agree. I don't expect a man to get married at 35, 40, maybe a, a bit earlier. But what I, what I, what I, my own point is early 20s is way too early because there's so much more. You see, sometimes we just have these get married, have children, go to church, come to work, and that's it. We think that's what the life is world. about. There's so much going on in the world. Your, your colleagues in, in Turkey, 
are creating things. Your Where colleagues in UK are building softwares. You are here just want to get married, have children, go to church and come back. Across There's the so much to do out there. You need to be a problem solver. Find that thing that God has what created you to do. Hang in there. You don't, you see, marriage somewhat slows you down. It does. I agree. So marriage will slow you down such that you I have agree. to consider other factors before you move. But as a young person, you can do so. I'm not saying you wait till you're 40. World. As a young man, you gotta, you gotta be sub. There has to be something. There has to be substance. Um, the brings your substance for, to the, the marriage. The tendency for irresponsibility yes. is very high. It's very high. If it's, if it's, if it's a young woman, no, oh, no, they will still cheat on you at 22. Is, you you marry early, you finish it's everything, right. you not get to 30. No, and I think all the sex, no, you not cheat on your wife. You are misunderstanding me. Don't let, let me land my point. Okay. The tendency for a single young man that is well to do, that is doing well, like has everything, to live a yes, to live a reckless life is very high. If it was a woman mm. that is in her 20s and she's not married and she's doing well, she's likely she to, to preserve decent. herself, to be decent. That, that tendency to be reckless is higher in men oh, when they are single. All right, let me come to you, okay, but let me take this call first. Shola, are you there? Shola, are you there? Hello? Th thanks for calling. Good morning, everyone. Good, Good morning, morning, Shola. Shaibu Solomon from Chalingo, Tarawa. Oh, Shwebe, sorry, Shwebe, sorry. Yeah, I like your program. I and my wife will always watch your program. They are doing everything. I like the, I like the, 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 the argument. You know, in everything in life, there is advantage and disadvantage. Yes, mm. very true. So before, before, before I got married, I felt that this is my right time that I want to be married. And again, presently, you see, I and my dad, you think my, I am my dad's younger brother. So getting married is not something you force and or attach something to it. But getting married is the state of mind. As the woman rightly said, that yes. if you, you matured at so, so, so age, you feel like I can handle everything in life. So if you attach because you want to get married because everybody is getting married, or you attach because you want to get money, or you attach because you want to attain certain <coughs> positions, you find out that you right. fail. So I like your program. Keep it up. Thank you very much, Thank you, Shoei. Yes, Now, in agreement with um, Mariah, as a woman, I'm at a stage where I can determine my time and if I get married and start a family, I can control on the indices of the home. So my business is set up, I can, so there's money to fund everything that you want to do. It's not perfection. What, we're not saying wait for perfection, but I hear everyone and I agree that for each individual, there it is different. Mm. Because while I was in school in Unilag, I had a classmate who was a bit older she already had four children mm. and she said that she got married early very young in her 20s she had her children she wasn't educated now as her children are going to school she also she's going now to going school. to school and she's now able to her children are older she's able to start a business so there are pros and cons okay. well, depending on how you plan your life yes. it's not for someone else to determine for let you let me take otumba martins are you there good morning thanks for calling Hello. 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 Yes, Atuma, go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning. Yes, sir. I, the topic you are discussing uh, is quite interesting. But I want to ask you one question. <clears throat> what, is the, what is the marriageable age? Uh-huh. 22. <laughs> no, You only no. put together by at 22. No. Right okay. now, with the Nigerian University system, with Nigeria University system, you get you get you get uh, uh, you leave university when you are when you are when you are how how how, how old? Twenty one. Some university by twenty two. Yeah, Probably the best is twenty one. It's not feasible. Uh, twenty two age is not feasible. Man, some some so woman can be very lucky to to get married at twenty two. Mm. But for a man in Nigeria, mm. get married at twenty two. When you leave university, <laughs> with the after cycle of five years, my my brother spent my brother spent. Seven years for a, for eight years for a seven year course. After I went for master for one year, it's been three years. It's, it's years. not feasible. We need to All be right. realistic. Thank you very much, Atumba. Let me um, let someone come in here. I, I agree with Jim Okay that there's no one size fits all for this. You really cannot say this is a specific age to get married. Yeah. We all work on different schedules because we have different lives. Yeah, um, however, the Bible structure for a man is that one. You can take the responsibilities that come with marriage. You must have a roof over your head. Be able to provide for your family. Mm. So at what age you can do that is the right age to think of getting married. Yeah. So it's for some, they can be able to do it at 25. <laughs> they can 
take that responsibility at 25. Some can, some are 30. Now, when you have cases, the, the one the ma this man is addressing are those that can sort those things and are still excessively picky, choosy, and wanting to um, enjoy, enjoy life. their life. I, I that is where, so that's okay. what the that man is, is addressing. Mm. Like, like, we, we, like I said earlier, there's no one size fits all. For me, I did not want to enjoy myself as a single person. I didn't even want to live that. I, I want to experience life. I wanted to experience mm. my life in marriage. I wanted to groove with my husband. So you will see me at one bar or the other with my husband dancing. And mm -hmm. you say, not as married. a single girl. I didn't want to do it as single. So you, yeah. must, you, <coughs> one must, you must find yourself internally, know what you want to do. And exactly. I will support Muriel in want... saying that you must know there are people, they are doing stuff. Discover yourself. Oh. But me, yeah, because so, me, I've, I've been through the club. Some people want to get married. I've finished my clubbing. Let me as, a single club, as a single person. I didn't do any as a single. I've done strip club, I've done drink club. I'm just doing my own in my husband. I'm married. Uh, and she's just doing her own. You, you don't want to club again. You've been there, done that. But well, you see, you guess what? Somebody like you will get very bored in marriage. Is in very lie? No, no, no. She's doing her own. Hold on. Because let me tell you something. I want to be grooving all my life from beginning to the end. I don't have to wait to a point where I have to now put it. Let's sweet, sweet. But I want to say something. I want to address something what you said. That right now you are ready, you are matured, you are ready for marriage, you already have your business. Let me tell you something. Thing. as far as you are going to sign a contract with another human being hmm. it's a no different ball game entirely however mature you think you are marriage will teach you things that you never thought you could you could learn in your life so i, I think see. we should just be ready to okay. to, to be in to, a learning to, state yes to throw ourselves into the blue ocean right. and just learn with <clears throat> the, the, the process okay urban legend says marriage is a very important life decision marrying early can also mean making a big mistake early in life mm. Omolaja says there is no right age for marriage visions <laughs> and visions Visions and missions must be placed side by mm. side being married. If you rush it, you rush out. Mm. Izzy Holding says, early or late married, the primary purpose of marrying is to fulfill destiny, not marrying because you want to be a Mr. Married. Oh, Mary <laughs> says, my brother married in his early 20s. My dad paid his house rent for a while. I, I think see? we should just be ready to... Okay. to, to be in to, a learning to, state. Yes, to throw ourselves into the blue ocean. Right. And just learn with <clears throat> the, the, the process. Okay. Urban Legend says, marriage is a very important life decision. Marrying early can also mean making a big mistake early in life. Mm. Omolaja says, there is no right age for marriage. Visions <laughs> and visions... Visions and missions must be placed side by side mm. being married. If you rush it, you rush out. Mm. Izzy Holding says, early or late marriage, the primary purpose of marrying is to fulfill destiny, not marrying because you want to be a Mr. Married. Oh, Mary <laughs> says, my brother married in his early 20s. My dad paid his house rent for a while. Today, they are doing well and happy. Well, if you have a dad that can do it. Um, Shua says, for a man to marry when he is broke, is not really easy. <coughs> mm. Bali says, God knows okay. how early I right. want to get married. What I'm not ready to face now is the imaginary bondage that comes with marriage. Okay. Imagine, so imagine. let's we'll, we'll, we'll take a quick break now. When we come back, we'll ask our celebrity guest her thoughts on this issue. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing already. We'll be right back. How early did she get Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. She's a beautiful veteran Nollywood actor and a businesswoman who began her acting career back in 1996 and has featured in several Nollywood movies in Yoruba and English. She won the Best Nollywood Actress of the Year Award at 2011. Let's welcome Bookie right to the show. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you very uh -uh. much. Thank Thank you. Mario, yes. do you know that she's going to be 50 this year? <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you look like 30. She looks like she's in her like exactly. early 40s. Early 40s. Mm. Yes, yes, so I'm in oh. my early thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> so, and anyway, before we get into interviewing you, what are your thoughts on what we just talked about? How, I know you have two boys, and one is 23 years Three, old. Three, and the other one is 21. Wow. And then they come to you and say, I'm ready to get married. So be it, as long as they are ready. You mentioned the word ready, ready. Yeah. to get married. So, as long as they are ready. What at what age will you start praying and pushing honestly, them? Honestly, for me, I, I called my first son on New Year Day mm -hmm. to start thinking of getting a partner. Is that the one who has a child? I'd, I'm not a grandma yet. <laughs> <laughs> so. oh, that's a controversy you heard. Okay, she's <laughs> okay. clarified. I'm not a grandma yet. Okay. I, because he's going into the limelight mm. yeah. and I feel going yeah. into limelight 
you need to choose now because by the time he gets up there, he become a Donjazi. He won't. <laughs> um, he won't be too easy yeah. for him yeah. to find, to find a right true love. love. Yeah. Yeah. Right. A lot of Just them to... is either they come because of the fame, yeah. the, the money, money or what yeah. have they? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But now that he is still yeah. struggling, any woman that comes in now yeah. and struggle with him yes. till he gets there yes. then yes, he will yes, know yes. that this person means yeah. well yeah. okay mm -hmm. right. he's ready fantastic so let's let's drop that we want to, we want to come to you now <laughs> so 21 now years the foundation no he's 23. No, you've been in the industry for 21, 21 years, years. <laughs> <laughs> and i know that there were a lot of people <clears throat> that you started with um, what, did, what would you say is your unique selling point? What has brought you thus far? Okay. Production, uh, um, I know that you, you acting. Do you direct? No. I know you do your own movies though. So um, what but has... I co-direct. What, yeah. what, what, what would you say has stood you out amongst all the others that started in 1996? Well, I'm not going to say um, I am the best or I have something that they do not have. I'm just going to say that um, in anything we do in life, the grace of God mm. is paramount. Mm. I have been able to, to have the grace. It's not to me. Mm. Like I was discussing with um, <coughs> a friend about training children and I, was, I told her that come because she was giving me all sorts of accolades and uh, you know, <laughs> I was like, no. I did not do mm. it. God did it. Mm. Okay. You know, because um, it's not a very easy thing. Yeah. I met a lot of people when I was coming in, and um, a lot of people came in after me, and of course, a lot of other people are still going to come yeah. in. Yeah. But why have I been able to stand out? Number one, I said the grace yeah, of God. Right. A lot of hard work. A lot of people would also call me Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they feel I'm a very strict person. I don't take no for an answer. Mm. And um, yes, yes. I don't believe in managing or mising. Mm. You know, if I want to do something, I want to do it with mm. everything okay. within me. Mm. If I don't want to do it, that's why it takes me time to produce. Okay. Mm, okay. So it means you give you 100% at every Everything. time. So you have a degree in economics yes. from the University of Lagos. How did you decide that acting was the way to go? I already mentioned that you have mm. this grace, this air around you. you. And I know that you have even dealt into politics <laughs> in Ogun State. But how did you decide that ah, acting is the way to go? Hmm. That's a very funny question and a very touching one mm -hmm. for me. Mm. I didn't go into acting because I just wanted to go into acting. Before I decided to go into acting, I had um, been called by friends, especially Shan mm. and Sonia Kim. Mm. I rejected. Mm. But something happened in my life and um, like I said, the grace of God in anything you do is very important. When I was going into acting, I wasn't going into acting because I was, you know, thinking of becoming a star yeah. or anything. I actually went into acting because I wanted my children to be able to see me for somebody to tell them. This is a question that I've never answered on any program. Mm. For somebody to tell them that that's your mom, wow. you can go find her. Because when I, I was in a marriage, wow. so I went into acting for my children. Wow. And that's what I've always told people, that I've lived my life for my children. Mm. And I give God the glory that... He, he fashioned out my way. Mm. Mm. It's not as if <coughs> I did it myself. Mm. Mm. So he's the grace. You know, talking about marriage, you know, what can you... <laughs> <laughs> it's an important, yeah, go ahead. You see, um, 
when you are in the limelight, it's very difficult to yes. handle relationships. You know, mm. so let, let me hear your own take. And it's, if possible, your struggles and how you're able to... You uh, might even be, you might be um, <laughs> finding it easy to handle the struggle. Mm. What about the, your partner? Mm. Yes. Is he or she ready? Mm. Very true. To handle the struggle with mm. you. That is, is the question mm. we should always ask yeah. But you married mm. somebody who was in the industry. I think it was your second marriage. That should have been easier. That's why I said, is it you mm. or your partner? You. Mm. Because marriage is not all about you. Mm. It's about two people coming together from different background. Mm. Interestingly, Mrs. Um, uh, you right. Miss. I, had Miss Miss. I had a conversation with my husband yesterday and we we're just talking generally. We went for a, a party and I have an aunt whose husband left her and um, and anytime I speak to her, I'm always so proud of what she's been able to accomplish. She's sent her son to school, he's in the UK, he's doing well, and she's so proud about my son's gonna get graduated in May. And sometimes I myself my husband was just my husband was just saying that, ah, how would I be, how would it have been nice for her husband to be there with her? And I said, No, she doesn't need him. Hmm. She doesn't need, she doesn't, is it until her husband is standing by her side that, she's that you acknowledge that, that she's successful? Done well. But you say, but that's the society we live in, until you have a man. That I'm like, well, this woman has done it all by herself. Do you so, feel, yeah, do you face that as well? Do you feel that you are, you, your success mm. with your children is being acknowledged? Do you feel that, do you feel proud that, yes, I have done it by myself, or do you feel that I wish I had a that man, man beside, beside me. next to me? I'm going to be very honest with you. No woman wants to live a life alone. Mm. Because there will always be a time mm. that you feel like there's something really bothering you, you want to share. Mm. And there are some women that feel, okay, I can't, I can't deal with, mm. you know, living alone and, you know, and that's why we tend to find ourselves in different relationships mm. at the end of the day. Mm. I agree. But the honest truth is that are Nigerian men ready for successful women? Ha. Hey. 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 Damn the question. The kind of <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm, I'm a motivational speaker mm. and I hit the nail yes, on please. the head. We like it, we're enjoying it. <laughs> you know? I, I say this all the time. Mm. As a man, can you handle a successful woman? Mm. Most men will tell you yes, but the honest truth is that they Reality. cannot. Especially a woman that is a public figure. Okay, mm. may I interrupt you to say that? What is the issue? Go, go. <laughs> that they have, like, you know, a lot of them just say respect. And you'll be wondering, but I've not insulted you. I've not <laughs> abused you. So what, in your own experience, did you find is the real issue that they have a problem with? Hmm. Well, I am not going to say that um, they have a problem with me or with whatever. But I just feel... Some women are just, you know, they are just up there. There's nothing you can do about it. Mm. You can't just, you can't just bring them down for mm. no reason. Mm. Mm. That's watching my heart. <laughs> mm. No matter what, even if they give you all the encomiums, everything, you still feel no. Under. Yeah. She's too yes. arrogant. Mm. Mm. We'll also be going on a break, but I want to ask you something. Maybe you'd answer after the break. Um, parenting, because when you have been into marriages, people always say that, oh, your children might not turn out so well, mm. cope with it, mm. you know, or they'll say, sit down there and manage it because, because of, of your, your children, children. <laughs> you know. And from what you've hinted at, you are proud of what your children are doing. Um, you would help answer the question for women they're struggling with marriage yes and trying to hold on because of their children yeah. mm -hmm. and also you would encourage on what you can do to still raise good children yes. even when you're a single mother mm -hmm. probably Go ahead. well i would say um for some time i've 
struggled. I want to be married. Mm. I don't want the society to say this. Mm. I don't want that. I don't want that. But I decided that I want to be selfish. Mm. And be happy. When I say selfish, he's loving yourself. This mm. okay. is touching me. <laughs> now we need to go on a break. Loving <laughs> yourself first. Yes. Mm. Because you are number one. And mm. number one comes first. Mm. If you say all in the name of your children, you want to stay in a marriage. Your children might end up losing you and they would suffer. Mm. Mm. Why don't you stay alive for them to take care of them? Mm. Mm. Let's pause on that. We have to digest mm. it. We'll be right back. Mm. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Ooh, thanks for staying with us. We still have uh, Miss Bookie right here with us, and uh, we're learning quite a bit from you. Mm -hmm. Now, I know Tokwa touched on parenting and um, and the perception of people saying a single mother is not the right. Nobody, no, no, no woman wants to be a single mother. We don't understand that clearly. But there are lots of women out there struggling mm -hmm. hard to raise the children right. Mm -hmm. They're looking for a father figure, and they end up dating multiple men, True. which they don't want to because it's not a good model. How would you, I, I, I don't want to so focus so much on personal life, but how would you advise women out there who are going through what you've been through? Because you, you've come out successful. Now we're celebrating the two gentlemen that you've, you've brought up. But there are women right there, their kids are two year old, four year old, and they're going through the situation and they don't know how to cope. Hmm. What would you say to them? Alhamdulillah. Hmm. <laughs> well, I am going to say this. Give all that you have to your children because they are your tomorrow. Mm. Encourage them, but don't spare them. Mm. Like my children would tell you that my mom is strict. Mm. I am strict because I feel even the Bible, most of you here are Christian, they say, Spare yeah, the, the rod, rod. Mm. And, and spoil the child. You know, I do not believe in pampering unnecessarily. My mom would tell you that in cutting your finger, more one can sweet. Maybe because of my up upbringing, <laughs> and um, I happen to be the only girl mm. from my mom's children. Mm. My mom won't take any rubbish mm. so I, I i took i think i took that from her yeah i don't believe a woman should kill herself mm. because of marriage okay. i would always say it marriage is meant for every woman and it is not meant for everybody mm. Mm. okay believe it or not it joke. is not meant for everybody it's just like wealth is not for everybody mm. Mm. So why do you want to kill yourself? You might be a mother, but not a wife. Okay. Good at what so you whatever have. you have, be good hold it yes. well be and best. be good at it. Fantastic. <clears throat> you know, um, you are in the entertainment industry, the movie industry. And every time, you know, except for lately, that you begin to see stories that touch on things that are really, really you know, um, pertinent to what we are mm. going through in Nigeria. How have you translated yourself from just regular acting to now acting for impact? You know, are you churning out, are we going to be looking forward to scripts or movies, production from you that would touch on this kind of issues that you're talking about? That, that means you have not been watching my movies. <laughs> ah. No, 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 no. Because if you have been watching my movies, these the are the kind of scripts yeah. I write. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No, no, I'm not talking yes. about um, me. You, as yes. in me. How do we now move Nollywood to that point? I think Nollywood is really moving. Mm. Yeah. Because the Nollywood I used to know, or that I, I came into, mm. has really, really gone a very long way yeah. and has really improved. Yeah, true. Mm. Which I really appreciate. Mm. Mm. And um, I'm proud to be part of it. Fantastic. Let me take John. John, are you there? 
I'm still there, yeah. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Uh, well, thank you for the good job you people are doing out there. For enlightening Nigerians. In fact, at this time of this, uh, uh, so, uh, at this point in time, we all need enlightenment because we're looking at the kind of things that, that happen. Hello, yeah. Yeah, yeah. hearing you. Go ahead, please. Uh, okay. I want to say thank you very much for the good work you all are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Enlighten, enlighten Nigeria. All right. Thank you, thank Mr. You. John. Um, I wanted to touch on your political career quickly before we run off. But um, I heard you say Alam Nududulai several times. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> several times. But yeah. you were born to a Christian father and a Muslim mother. How did you decide what religion? I am one of those people that feels the mother's are actually the owner of the children. Okay. Because for them to carry their children for nine months yeah. is not an easy thing. <laughs> uh -huh. So I decided to, to go, to go with my mom, mom because my mom actually was, okay. was always there. Yeah. Okay. Are you a feminist? <laughs> <laughs> well, in Nigeria, when you say feminist, mm. run away from you. they yeah. run away from yeah. it and they give it all sorts of yeah. meaning. Yeah. But I and would time. say, yes, I am a feminist. So define your type of feminism. My type of feminist, my type of feminism is the one that believe in my fellow women. And that's why I would always tell the women to love themselves mm. and believe in themselves, support yourselves, and do whatever it takes to bring a fellow woman up oh. there with so you. So you're going to run, so you going to run for office? Exactly. Are you going to run politics. for governor of, of the state? Well, I, for now, I am not contesting. Mm -hmm. But um, I believe... Um, we, I contested. Yes, yes, you did. But for 2016, I'm not thinking about it. But I will support, I mean, 2017, my bad, my bad, my 2019, <laughs> actually. Yeah. I am going to support any woman mm. that is ready to run. Yeah. Because um, I've realized that we do not support ourselves. Mm. Very bad. We'll rather have those men put us in front. We'll dance in the sun yes. and, you know. Yeah. I would support any woman that is ready to come out financially, morally, mm. and spiritually. We would like mm. to support you. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, if you so come out, <laughs> let us know. We'll be able okay. to support you. There are a few okay. tweets yes. um, asking Wait, questions. Cynthia says, I love Buki rights. Self-love is important before mm -hmm. marriage. But what time in her life did she discover herself to love it? Hmm. I, I discovered a bit late. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, right. and since the time I did, I've been enjoying mm. the self-love. Mm. Some people, some men will call it selfish. Mm. Some men will call it arrogant. Mm. Call it whatever you want. But I'm number one, and number one comes first. So okay, okay. I want to be you happy. Stay beautiful? Because oh, other it's it's one of the, you have you have it's invested one of the in yourself. Thing. It's one of it's <laughs> one of the love you have to <laughs> give yourself. shower on yourself. Yeah, so take us. yourself out. Take a, like it's it's funny. A lot of ladies would want to wait till. A man is ready to take them to one place, to <laughs> Chinese or whatever. Take them out. I want to take myself oh, out. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. It's not until you want to oh go to God. all those high-end yeah. restaurants. Yeah. 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 You can decide. You take yourself out. No, I'm telling you this. You, you can decide up. to take yourself to mm. Yamala. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Let me quickly take a few more tweets. That's right. um, um, Benga says it's better to remain single and be praying to be married rather than marry and be praying to be single. At this one, I says many men refuse to marry just because this, they are sampling the sampling windows are open. If the ladies shut off this window, <laughs> they will want to marry. Um, I, I should Olu say, Olubisi says, Antibuki is so on point this mm. morning. You're a strong woman. Mm. Thank you. I think I, I think we all agree with that. Mm. Thank, Thank you so you much. We have to round up. We enjoyed interviewing you today. I think we did. I would like to bring, uh, bring you back. I hope you, I hope you oblige us. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> and I regard to your two men, uh, young we men. We must say thank you. She came in at 7 a.m. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, well, that's when I, one what of the preach. things I was taught. Mm. in my job in you my are job. leading by example you should be right. and in when we're saying change mm. as that change started from you mm -hmm. mm. Mm. god bless you Ew. oh <laughs> man we this interview can continue <laughs> <laughs> ah, can you give us extra 30 minutes <laughs> thanks that's all we can take on the show uh,
Right. A nice way to end a, a great week. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> See you Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs>